One of my favorite things to do on guitar when I'm just jamming is play around a 12 bar blues, uh, solo guitar style, no jam tracks or anything. And it's great because you can just pick up the guitar, play through it, it's pretty impressive to most people, uh, and you don't have to worry about going on YouTube or looping a chord progression or anything like that. So today we're going to look at how you can do this in seven steps. And before we get into it, here's a little demo of what it'll sound like by the end. <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to learning how to improvise around a 12 bar blues, there's a few basic things we have to understand, and the first is the actual chord structure of a 12 bar blues. So let's get into step one, which is learning just that. So if we look at the sheet, we have an E chord, just a basic E chord to begin with, and we're going to play this for four bars. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we switch to our A chord or our four chord and we play that for two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we switch back to our E chord for two more bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we have a new chord, this B7 chord, which we're going to play by playing the second fret on the A string with our middle finger the first fret on the D with our first finger and the second fret on the G with our third finger and we're going to just play those three strings so this is our B7 chord and we're only going to do that for one bar so four counts we go one two three four and then we play an A chord again for four beats one two three four and then E for four beats and then again E for another bar for four more beats Okay, so if we play that from the beginning and try play along if you want, I'll give us a four bar count in. One, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. E, two. Now A, four. A, two, three, four. A, two, three. Back to E. One, two, three, four. E, two. Now B7. One, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. Okay, so that is our fundamental blues chord progression. So have a few guys at playing that from start to finish, especially focusing on that B7 chord. Most likely you'll be struggling with that a little bit. But when you're ready, we're going to move on to step two. Now for step two, we're going to be replacing the E and the A chord with a blues style guitar riff. We're going to play zero and two. So we're playing zero, which is the open E string, and two on the A string. And we're going to play that twice. And then what we do, while leaving our first finger back there, you can lift it up a bit, and we play the four with our third finger on the A string and that open E string again. So we go from zero two to zero four. And we play each of them twice. Like that, okay? Then we do that twice in a row. And that would equal one bar. So two repetitions of the zero two to zero four would equal one bar, okay? Now when we play the A chord, we're going to do the exact same thing except one string higher. So now we play the open A string and the second fret on the D string and then the fourth fret on the D string, like that. So we go. And that would be one bar of our A chord. Okay, so if we put this together, going through our 12 bar blues structure again, we start with the E. That's one bar. That's two bars. Three bars. Four bars, and now I switch to the A. That's one bar. And we do two bars of the A. Now back to E. That's one bar. Two. 
now B7 2 We're just going to strum this Now for the B7 We're just going to strum this 4 times 1 2 3 4 Then we go back to our A Then back to our E for 2 bars Alright, so if I play that from start to finish And again, you can try play along I'll count this in 1 2 3 4 That's one bar Two bars Three bars Now we're going to go to the A A That's one bar That's two bars, back to the E That's one Now we're going to go B7 Two, three, four, A Right, then you could repeat that and loop it round and round. So that is step two, is replacing the E and the A chord with the blues style riff. Now if we move on to step three, step three is going to be learning the E minor pentatonic scale. Because this is what we're going to use to improvise little lead guitar parts between our rhythm playing. So to play the E minor pentatonic scale, we play the open E string, the third fret on the open E string, then the A string open, then the second fret on the A string, Open D string, 2nd fret D string, open G, 2nd fret G, open B, 3rd fret B, open I, high E, and then 3rd fret high E. Okay, so all together, 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 3. So that is our step 3. So get familiar with that pentatonic scale because we're going to be using that to make up licks or improvisations in between the rhythm parts of this. So moving on to step 4, we're going to incorporate some lead guitar playing into what we already have on our blues structure with the riff. So using that E minor pentatonic scale, you can either come up with your own lick that fits into one bar, but for now, I've just got an example written out just to keep it simple that we can use. And that example is just going 3030 on the high E and then 303 on the B string. Okay, if I play that with a bit more rhythm. That is going to be our lead guitar lick that we uh, integrate into this. So if we look at this sheet, uh, we are going to be playing that lick every second bar of the chord okay so instead of doing this for two bars we're going to do a lick the second bar that lick we just went over instead of doing the riff again so it will sound like this then our lick then back to the riff and again Right, so that would be the first line. Now on the A, we do the exact same thing. Okay, I play this riff one time. But instead of doing it for another bar, I play this lick again. Right, then back to E. Lick. Now B7, we're going to play like we did before. And we're going to play our A riff. And now here, when we have the E again for two bars, we're going to replace the second bar with the lick. Okay, so if I put step four all together, play it from start to finish, it will sound like this. One, two, three, four. So you can see how this is really coming along now. We have a blues rhythm and we have a lead guitar part that we put in between uh, some of the bars. Cool. Now, step five, moving on. So what we're going to do is come up with a second guitar lick. Okay, we're going to make like a call and response kind of deal. So if we stick with our first lick, this first example, 
I'll put a second example up there that we can use. Uh, but again, you can come up with your own just using that minor pentatonic scale if you want. But for the second lick, we're going to go like this. Three, zero, three, zero on the B string. And then two, zero, two on the G. So with some rhythm, it'll sound like this. Okay, so now we have two licks. The first one being this one. And the second one being... Okay, now we're, the way we're going to incorporate this into our blues progression is we're just going to alternate between the two. Okay, so for the first line of E, I'm going to play the riff, the first lick, then the riff again, and now I'm going to do the second one. Right, see how that already makes it a bit more interesting, a bit of a call and response, a bit of variation in there. Then we go to the A, second line, do the first lick, and then back to the E riff, but do the second lick. Then we play our B7, our A riff, and then our E riff. And you can do the first lick or the second lick there. Up to you. Cool? So, let's play that from start to finish. And again, you can play along. One, two, three, four. Cool, so already that's sounding more interesting. And just remember, what you want to try to eventually is make up those licks for your own. Okay, don't copy the ones I did. You can, but they're not very good. Um, okay, moving on to step six. So hopefully this is all making sense. So step six, we're going to be learning some turnaround licks. These are little licks that you can use when you're getting to the end of the blues progression. Okay, the last two bars specifically to loop it around again. And this is what the first one sounds like. I have two written there, so we have some variations. <laughs> Right, that's the first one. Now the way we play that is we play the low E string, then we play the fourth fret on the G, and we play the high E, then back to that four, then we go down to three, we go three, high E, three, then down to the second fret, high E, two. So you can see the pattern there. So we play the open E, four on the G, high E, back to the four, then we go down one fret, three, zero, three, then two, zero, two, and then we finish on the first fret of the G, then we go to the low E, play three, then we play the uh, open A string, first fret, second fret on the A, and then we play the open D string, first fret on the D string, and then second fret on the D string. Cool. Um, and if you want to look at the second one, uh, the PDFs for all this stuff will be available on my Patreon and you can check it out there. So now that we've learned our turnaround lick, we're going to incorporate it into everything we've been doing in this last step, step seven. And where we're going to put it is in the last two bars of the progression. Okay, so all together, it's going to sound like this. You see the idea? See how that turnaround really leads you into the next repetition nicely? So hopefully that all makes sense. So just go through those steps, adding the riffs, adding the little guitar licks, learning the turnaround and adding that in. And ideally you want to get it to the point where you're just improvising all of those guitar licks and jam around your 12 bar blues just with uh, those criteria in mind. But uh, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, remember, the PDF is available at my Patreon if you want to download that, but you don't need to. Obviously, it's on the screen. Um, <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching. That was very good marketing on my part, wasn't it? But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.